the hearings. The animal rights people got up and repeatedly said that we don't have water for our horses and that they live in stalls where they can't turn around or lie down. This is an automatic waterer. When the horse wants water, press his nose against this, access to water all the time. This is the hay rack, and this is the stall. And we have a 50 pound salt block hanging in each stall. We use straw for bedding, and it's recycled at a mushroom farm. Plenty of room for a horse to lie down and or turn around. And underneath the straw, both for insulation and to make it soft, we have rubber mats. Here's another box stall, complete with large horse. You get the automatic waterer, hay rack, straw on the ground. and rubber mat underneath. Plenty of room for that horse to lie down. The animal rights see these bars here. They say they live in cages. These bars are to enable the horses to socialize by not uh, at the same time fighting with each other or doing any damage to each other or getting caught on anything. So we don't wall them in completely. We leave the upper half of the stall so they can see their buddies next door. But of course to uh, an AR with no information, this is a jail cell. Um, this is bigger than a lot of bedrooms in New York City. And if you think I'm joking, pick up the, the new side of the stall I was just filming. And it's of course the same size. You got the hay rack there. You got the automatic waterer. That's how we get the hay into the hay rack from the outside. Oh, don't get upset. I'm not taking your hay away. There's a salt block. Automatic waterer. There's another big stall. When people saw some of my other videos, that there's not enough light in the stable. Um, horses don't read, so they don't need bright lights. As a matter of fact, bright lights in the stable don't really give the horses much time to relax because they're standing under fluorescent lights all the time. These lights will be dimmed later when we're not changing shifts and they'll actually be turned off altogether. But even when they're on, we don't have the brightest of lights in the stable. Plenty of room to lie down, plenty of room to turn around. More evidence that the animal rights people are lying consistently. When it's warmer in the summertime, we have these fans blowing all over the stable and these rubber hoses actually carry water to the fan and there's small holes in that rubber hose there and when the fan blows uh, the water becomes a mist and we actually mist the horses with uh, cool air and moisture during the summer months and these fans are literally everywhere. Every fan has the water hose going to it, so it creates a mist in the summer months. There's a fan, there's another one, there's another one. There are three down there. And again, as you go by the stalls here, you'll notice that everyone has the license posted because that's the law and we comply with the law. And the animal rights can scream abuse and non-compliance as much as they want, it doesn't make it true. Our stable also has a sprinkler system fully throughout the building. There are buildings in New York where people live and there are no sprinkler systems. But we have one here in our stable for our horses. And this is the plan going along here to each automatic waterer because each stall has an automatic waterer. We have exhaust fans as well as the circulation fans to change the air. Install here we have more exhaust fans 
they said there's no ventilation more lies another ventilation vent right there third floor uh, we keep all our bedding here we take everything up through the elevator here it comes in on the ground floor this is high quality hay got lots of timothy in there this is our bedding this is um, different types of feed that will end up in the hoppers that I showed you downstairs This stall has two windows. You were sleeping earlier. Did you wake up? Good. Just want to show people your box stall. Let me get in here with you. Now I'm just going to turn the horse around here in the stall. There's the horse. Got it by the halter. There's the sprinkler system, by the way. Up above each stall. There's the ventilation shaft. And we're I'm turning this large Percheron horse in the stall. That horse is probably 16.3 and he can easily lie down and turn around in the stall here. He can easily lie down. Alright, big box stall. Always a little food hanging out of his mouth there. There's Fenian after a bath, ready to go down the ramp. Come on, Fenian. You're right. Now, this is the infamous ramp everybody talks about on these videos and on these blogs. An old lady in a wheelchair could come up this ramp. And horses are quadrupods. They don't have a problem with this ramp. I'm just going to get some food and off to work. And that's about it. We installed these bins which are filled from upstairs uh, to keep our friends here from getting into the food. Oh, by the way, our whole street is cobblestones outside the stable because long before there, there was asphalt, there was cobblestone.